What's up guys, Vanessa here. I thought I'd show you how to make three nut milks today. Coconut, almond, and cashew. They're a breeze to make, and when you make them yourself, you know what's in them, unlike when they come in a box. You never know what you're getting. So first up is luxurious coconut milk. Don't buy it in a can. You can easily whip up a batch at home, even if you don't have fresh coconuts. Start with a cup of desiccated coconut and you then want to add about two cups of water one and a half if you want it extra creamy and then blend and sip <laughs> uh, it's just, it, you know it's not rocket science but it does taste a lot better than what you get in the can or the powdered version so don't skimp out on quality don't be lazy this will last in your fridge for at least a couple of days if you keep it in the fridge. Um, mine never lasts because I use it up for curries and desserts and whatnot. Moving on. Almond milk. Another contender that's very expensive. I soaked these overnight and they became nice and plumpy. You then want to just um, rinse them under the water, get rid of the gunk, and put them in your little blending thing and add some water. So for a cup of oat, um, sorry, a cup of almonds, I'm adding about one and a half cups water. You can add two cups entirely up to you. I like mine more creamy and you just want to blitz. Grab a date. As you can see, I have more than enough dates. I don't even know what to do with them anymore. Anyway, you want to grab a couple of dates, about maybe, I'd say four. So I've just de-seeded them, I'm adding them to my milk, and I'm also adding a little bit of cardamom powder. Feel free to experiment, you can add vanilla, you can add cinnamon, up to you, you're the master of your kitchen. This is just the base recipe. Uh, between takes, something happened to my sieve, not sure what happened to it. Uh, anyway, let's continue. You just want to then pour your almond blitzed almond mixture and just sieve it, or you could just use a clean cloth like I'm doing here, which is more sensible, and just squeeze the life out of it, like so. And then pour this lovely, delicious goodness in a jar and use it up when you need. It should last about four to five days in your fridge. And last but not least, cashew milk. Grab a cup of cashews. I soak these overnight as well. And I just added them to my blender. Same process. Added some water, enough to about, you know, cover your cashews. Use a little more because the cashews are expensive. <laughs> it's gonna make it stretch a bit. And then just blend away. If you wanna sweeten it, you can. I prefer not to. And then just strain it. Um, cashews don't really have much uh, left over, so point to you don't really need to strain it and then pour this delicious gold in your bottle I like using this in my coffee it looks a bit funky when you put it in the coffee initially but it tastes great guys don't toss away the leftover almond or the coconut you can use it in so many different things you can use the coconut in chutneys and the almonds you can use them to make cookies well dry them in the oven and you can use them to make cookies or even in a body scrub like I do or in a face mask. Ladies, say hey. Leave a comment in the comment section and let me know how you guys would use up your almond meal and coconut leftovers. I'd love to hear your ideas. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you aren't already following this channel. And do click the bell icon so that you can be notified when the new tutorial comes out. Take care guys and as always, happy cooking!